I haven't put a lot of thought into it, so you know, we'll just take it day by day and see, kind of see where we're at. Truthfully, guys, I'm thinking about this game and I'm not thinking about anything past five minutes from now. All right, Michael, if Tom Brady, he goes to Giselle, he goes to the kids, and then he picks up the phone and dials your phone number and say, Michael Holly, what do you think I should do? Should I walk away? Is now the time to walk away? Should I come back? What say you? Give me life advice. I would say Michael to him, Holly, says Tom. Brady. I would tell you what I, what I would say. Okay, I, you know what I would ask him. I wouldn't give him an answer first. This is what I would ask. Any happily, presumably happily married man. <clears throat> What's your wife say? What's your wife say about it? That, uh, I just want to uh, give me some context. I want to know. I want to know context before I just kind of throw it out there. I'd say one. What does your wife say? Two. How do you feel? I mean, just mentally, not just not right now, but just macro. How do you feel about uh, just mentally preparing for the games and physically? And the uh, third thing I'd say, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Like, what do you see that that interviewer's question? What do you see yourself doing in the next five to 10 years? And then I'd probably tell him, I'd walk away. You've done, you've done everything. You've been incredible. Your legacy is secure. You've proven a point if that's what you wanted to do. You've proven a point that that Tom Brady, the Tom Brady show travels. I think some people wondered about that uh, at the end of the 2019 season when it wasn't by his standards it was not the greatest year for Tom Brady. 20 something touchdown passes uh, Patriots eliminated in a wild card game by the Tennessee Titans. Tom Brady looked good, but not like the goat anymore. And he went to Tampa and he brought his crew with him and by, by dent of his hard work and his knowledge, he was able to get this team to buy into him. He won a Super Bowl away from Bill Belichick, away from the Patriot way, all that stuff. And this year, he's played like an MVP. You've proven it. You won seven titles. You, you're, a, you're a fixture in the, in the conference championship games, whether it's the AFC or NFC. You're, you're, you're the face of Super Bowl competition. You've done it all. You're the greatest to ever play. You're the, not only the greatest quarterback, you're the greatest athlete. This is what I would say. You're the greatest athlete in the history of football. See you later. Yeah, Walk and away. then hopefully he called me afterward and I'd say, don't listen to that dude because that dude don't know what he's talking about, okay? I'd ask him one simple question. Do you still love it? Do you still love what you do every day? Because if it was about having, see, the problem is, and even Giselle, if I may, you know, enter into their relationship and their marriage. Go after ahead. which Super Bowl was it? The Tampa Super Bowl or the last Patriots went on? Maybe it's been several Super Bowls when she's asked him, "What more do you have to prove?" And I know that right. Tom Brady's career narrative, the story of the 199th pick in the 2000 draft, has been about this chip on his shoulder and proving people wrong and being the underdog and uh, the Brady six, right? The, the, all the quarterbacks that he remembers that were taken ahead of him, so on and so forth. Yep. I get that's part of his legend, part of his lore. But if it were about proving something or adding to his GOAT resume, Tom Brady's mic drop moment was 28 to three. Tom Brady's been, you know, if there was an argument before that, once they came back against the Falcons down 28-3 in the Super Bowl, that was a wrap for, for arguments about who was the greatest of all time. So ever since then, he's just been adding to it. Now, was there some semblance of, oh, I got to prove that I could win away from the Patriots way and the Patriots system? I'm sure there was some of that. Or I proved that I could defy father time. I'm sure there was some of that. But what's kept Tom Brady playing this long, this well, is his desire to compete. And every professional athlete that's ever walked away from the game always talked about how much they miss the competition, how much they miss competing. Yeah. And so if you're yeah. Tom Brady okay. and you can still compete at the highest level, not just with the opposition, but also with yourself, you don't get to walk away at this age. You don't get to walk away and come back. See, because I was thinking like, well, he would walk away on top. And he walk away at the top of his game, a la Jim Brown. How cool would that be? 
Well, yeah, that's only if, 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 if he cares about how we remember the end of his career. Because however they walk yeah. away, whether it's on top or on a decline, it doesn't take away from what they did. Peyton Manning is a great example of that. Like, yeah, he was washed at the end, but that has nothing to do with the MVP that he was all those years before. The other thing I, the other thing I said uh, Friday when we were talking about this was like, oh, well, you know, I can't see Brady walking away after a loss. I see him walking away with the Lombardi in his hand because I don't see him living with the loss for the, for, for the rest of his life. That's the last game he played. But what does that have to do with all the other times that he won? You know, like he's not going to be able to script the perfect ending because he, he's had an opportunity to do that like last year. If he was going to walk away after a Super Bowl win, that's not what brought him back because he knew that there was the possibility yeah. that he wouldn't do it this year. What keeps bringing him back is something that if I'm him and I can still do it at the highest level, I'm not going to stop until I have to stop. Now that have to Michael okay. may have to do with his family. And it may have to do right. with his wife is like, dog, you can't do this no more. I'm not letting it, it, me or me or football or his kids are like dad, us or the game. And that's And obviously we know what choice he would make. But short of that, short of that, you got to keep if you love it, you got to convince them guys. I love it too much to walk away. I love it too much to walk away. So in, so you know what it's funny, Michael, I'll leave. I'll leave you with this. You know, I love 300, right? You know, I love 300 and right. 300 Rise of right. an Empire. Okay. Right. So it's like in Sparta, the wives, and in this instance, the queen, Queen Gorgo, they knew what time it was. They knew the sacrifice that was, that was, that was asked of, of Spartan citizen soldiers. So when mm -hmm. Leonidas was about to march to the hot gates, you know what Gorgo told him? Come back with your shield or on it. Okay, because she knew she, she knew she weren't gonna see him again, but that's what the job required. So what I'm saying is, if you're Giselle and, and the boy and the kids it's like, look, man, we know that pops wants to be carried off on his shield and Tom Brady cannot in my mind as a fan. You can't go out like this. Don't go out when you got so much left in the tank. It's nice to be able to say you walked away on top, but when you got this much left in the tank, I think it would haunt him. If he walked away still loving the competition and still being able to play at the highest level. So I would say run it back until you can't run it no more, dog. All right, let's ride that thing uh, till the I like wheels fall off. I, I like 300 too. As a matter of fact, you don't remember this, you don't remember anything. Uh, I saw it with you in 2007 uh, at Regal Fenway Cinemas in, in Boston. Okay, I saw it with That's you. Scary. I saw the movie with you. That's scary. Yeah. That's scary. So, all right. So, yes, great movie. I'm with you. But Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom Brady is not in a movie. He produces some of them. He uh, executive produces some of them, but he does not star in them. In this case, you talk about Tom Brady still is able to compete at a high level and he loves it. Well, that can't be the only reason to stay because he's different. And so we've already established that we've established that maybe when he got to 40 and it was a unanimous MVP of the league or not that, that wasn't unanimous, but he was MVP of the league when he was 40 years old oldest oldest MVP in NFL history. And that was five years ago, almost five years ago. So he's established that he's different. He'll be able to play it at a long time. If we go by that standard, hey, as long as I'm able to do it at a high level, he'll never stop. It will feel like that to his family. He, play, he may play till 48 or 49. If the standard is I'll do it as long as I'm really good at it. That can't be it. You mentioned sacrifice. Maybe some sacrifice has to come into this and he realizes this. I'm not getting into his family. I don't know it well enough. I'm just guessing. Yeah, if yeah. Giselle has made are. it public and she's and she said that she said it on the record and that was after the Philadelphia Super Bowl that they lost. What else do you have to prove? That was in 2017 five years ago. What else do you have to prove if she wanted him to walk away then if she was telling people then I just want to you know, grow old with him and have vacations and not have to worry about a football schedule and meetings and coaches and game plans. At some point, you're going to have to do something that has that you have to give up a little bit of yourself. Yeah, to make it to, to, it may, to, she to, may to give make him that it. ultimatum. And I, I would say we're, we're probably we're probably at that point. I would say you're at that point. Maybe, man, maybe not. No, that's not the we point always, we're, at. we're at the point. We're at the point where we should be and this is surprising that it take, it's taken this long. None of these great quarterbacks. I think the difference is Brady 
not only is he the Terminator, but he's Robo QB in that he's he's always it's never been a question of as to whether or not he wanted to play or, or, or love the game enough to keep coming back. Not to mention his play hasn't declined one bit. All of these quarterbacks, you name them, Manning, Favre, Roethlisberger, everybody when they get to this age, they all year to year. They all go into the offseason with questions. It's a miracle that at age 44 in year 22 that this is the first time that we're entering into an offseason with an actual legitimate question as to whether or not Brady's going to come back. This is the first time he's even said, okay, I'm going to consider it. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'll, I'll think about it. I haven't thought about it. I'll think about it. It's never been a question before now. So all we are now, honestly, I think we're, we're kind of overreacting because that's, you know, what we're doing because wait a minute. Wait, Tom's actually thinking about walking away. In what world does Tom Brady walk away, especially the way he's playing right now? Well, he's 44, almost 45 years old. And this is what they do at that age. They can sit, they, they go home, they take stock. They wonder if they want to put forth the effort that it takes to prepare their bodies at this age to play in another year. He talks to the missus. He talks to the kids, but I, I, even though this is more of a story now than I thought it would be, I'd be shocked if he walked away. He's playing too well. They're still going to have too good of a team around too. him. He's addicted to that this. Being said, He's addicted to different. it. I'd be shocked if he walk away. All right. So you asked me off the top. You said, what would I tell him? I tell him, all right, man, you're good. What do I think will happen? I think under center, ladies and gentlemen, under center, and now the quarterback of your Tampa Bay Buccaneers, number 12, Tom Brady, for the 2022 yeah. season. Yeah, he's going to be back. Yeah. And I yeah. think he, not only do, do I think he'll be back in 22, probably be back in 23 as well. It's, it's hard to see him walking away. And, it, and, and I know part of it is it's hard to imagine a league without Tom Brady. It's what we've known for the last 20 years. And it comes to an end for all of them. Some of them, some of them we can see coming. A lot of them we don't see coming. So you can see why he might walk away. But this dude just, this is, this seems like what he's just been built to do. And uh, like I said, this, this game yesterday, if anything, probably adds fuel to his fire to come back and try to do it again. It feels like it'd be easier for him to leave off a win and a loss, but I could be wrong. I don't think it's too. game we'll dependent. See. I don't think it's game dependent. I don't think it's that. Uh, yeah, that's hard to predict. Like I said, that's hard to predict. Yeah, that's hard, that's hard to script that perfect that picture. perfect ending and he and he passed on it. Uh, he's not the only quarterback with uh, with questions and concerns. And what's to say? What's to say? He'll have a better chance next year than he did this year. Maybe this is a bet the best shot. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us. 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.